Bill and Carrie with KB Tricks. Hello. Where are we, hon? What are we doing? We are inside the MGM Resort in Las Vegas, and we are about ready to do the Hunger Games experience. Before we go in, uh, there's uh, a Katniss uniform that she wore, uh, her red uniform in Mike and Jay Part 2. We're gonna head on in by going down these escalators. Going to head down the escalator for the entrance to the Hunger Games. Ooh, one of the first things to see is one of Caesar's outfits. Check out the detail on that. That is quite pretty. Stanley Tucci, great American hero. We just bought our tickets and signed a waiver, and now we are entering into the exhibit. Ooh. First up we got uh, outfits worn by Katniss Everdeen and Gail Hawthorne. Which catching fire. Catching fire. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun trying to edit around the copyrighted music that's gonna be playing overhead. <laughs> gonna wait for a spe gonna wait for a special message from the Capitol. Welcome. Welcome, welcome at the Hunger Games. There's Primrose Everdeen's outfit, the Games. and of course, the when we do the draft, we're entering the Hunger Games train. For most of this, I'm going to try to get the Hunger Games expert in our group, Carrie, to do most of this, if I can. So what are we looking at in here? So this is the tribute train. This is from the first and second movie. These are outfits that they wore on their victory tour, so this is from Catching Fire. But a true Hunger Games uh, expert would see the knife in the table, uh, which is from the first book and first movie when Katniss got upset with Hamish. This trip doesn't end when you get back home. You never get off this terrain. In this next room, it looks like it's um, Hunger Games trivia. And so to give the answer, you have to stand on A or B. All right, what's Carrie's question going to be here? This is Kevin TV. What does Katniss Everdeen wear to her second tribute capital TV interview for the 75th Hunger Games? Well, Carrie's going with B. Her wedding dress or her tribute parade costume? I think she's right about this one. B. Her wedding dress. So for this game, they give you up to five questions, and so far, Carrie's batting a thousand, four out of four. There we go, the final one. Walk animal and memorize entire conversations and repeat them back. Oh, she's going with Jabber J. It's not Mockingbird? Are you sure? Jabber J. Big congratulations. Yeah, I did. Not. This is President Snow's desk. Carrie, you want to sit in the President's desk? Yes. Closest I'll ever have any power in my life. Closest she'll ever have power in her life, she said. Next room is going to be some costumes, outfits. The first one that just kind of like stands there and slaps you in the face is the wedding dress. This is the wedding dress from... From Catching Fire. But the, when they were on the set of the... This was on the set of the 75th of Hunger Games. Beautiful dress. And if you look behind it, that is... If you look behind it, that's what the dress looked like after when she did her twirl. So we've got a bunch of costumes. Uh, this is President Snow's quarter quill costume. We have a peacekeeper. This is one of Effie Trinkets. This is her butterfly costume from Catching Fire. This is one of President Snow's costumes from Mockingjay Part 1. If anyone remembers Tigress from Mockingjay Part 2, this is her costume. Effie's Victory Tour. Oh, we've got Caesar Flickerman's interview costume. And we've got Plutarch Havensby's Victory Party costume. On the other side, we've got a Phoenix Tribute costume from Catching Fire. 
Oh. PETA's Victory Party costume. Katniss's Victory Party costume. These are both from Catching Fire. Oh, this is Katniss's costume from the original Hunger Games for her interview with uh, Caesar. Oh, okay, this is kind of cool. This is Katniss and PETA. These are their tribute parade costumes from Catching Fire. Here's Cinna from Catching Fire. And lastly, we have Hamish's interview costume from Catching Fire. I'm not sure what this is, but it says punch the button below to begin. BD's lab propaganda. Okay. Choose my moment. Mm. Choose my message. <laughs> okay. Let's go with that. Did I get a video out of my thing? Awesome. This is the science of the arena, so you can touch on certain places and it tells you certain things. So this is about the poisonous fog. And then weather manipulation. This is on the 75th games. There's the stuff about the monkeys. So this is all the things that could kill you in the Hunger Games, right? Yes. We're gonna get ready to learn how to do some archery here, or at least with their equipment. <laughs> Up here, what's these outfits from, honey? Um, those are from Mockingjay Part 1. They gave us some protective armbands for the archery, so that we put that on our non-dominant arm. That way when, uh, when, uh, not if, when the uh, uh, line snaps from the bow, it doesn't give us a bruising. I actually did archery as a kid and I had a bruise go all the way down my forearm once, so it's no joke. This is Katniss Everdeen's Mockingjay pen. I don't know, a really big container for it, but let me zoom in here and get a better look at it. There we go, there's her Mockingjay pin. It's only the size of a quarter, but incredible detail on it. In addition to those uh, arm guards we have, we have to wear some safety glasses. Kind of fogging up. <laughs> they gave us a quick directions on how to use our bow and arrow. They're all set to go. And this is our training simulator. Welcome to District 13 recruits. Before we begin, quick safety goggles rule. Safety goggles must be worn at all times while you're inside the arrow room. <laughs> Walking out of the simulation for shooting, here's one of Effie's outfits. We just had her photos taken with a couple of poses. Okay, so we're going to go check out the gift shop. So what do you think of the exhibit? It was interesting. It, I hate to say it was not worth the $45 admission for adults. What were the details um, on that? $45 for adults? $45 for adults. I'm not sure what it was for kids. But, I mean, you go in and there's, you know, costumes and... There's a few interactive exhibits, and then of course there's the archery, which I learned I suck at archery. Actually, I didn't learn that, I already knew that, but that was kind of it. And so it really wasn't a lot. If you're a huge Hungry fan, fan it's worth it. But for us, at least for me, it was kind of like, uh, okay, cool. The archery part was the best part for me. <laughs> I liked the costumes. Would but... you recommend it? You'd really have to be a true Hunger Games, like a really big Hunger Games fan to really like it. Uh, that's going to do it for our trip over here to the Hunger Games experience at MGM in Las Vegas. But thank you for joining us. Please do us a favor. Like, share, subscribe so you know if we're out there. But for now, I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. And we'll catch you next time. Until then, good luck and have fun. See ya.